Today we're going to be looking at uh, some more formulas similar to the sum of angle and difference of angle formulas we had in the last video that we can apply to help us simplify and to solve uh, different trig equations and to evaluate trig expressions that we might not normally be able to evaluate. Examples of some of these guys look like the sine of the angle 2 times u, sine of the angle u divide by 2, uh, sine squared of an angle, and the product of sine of an angle and cosine of an angle. Let's start with our double angle formulas. Uh, we have a double angle formula each for sine, cosine, and tangent, and they are enumerated here. I have sine of twice an angle equals 2 times the sine of that angle uh, times cosine of that angle. I have cosine of twice an angle equals the cosine squared of the original angle minus sine squared of the original angle, and I have tangent of twice an angle is equal to 2 times the tangent of an angle divided by 1 minus the tangent squared of an angle. And if we look at how this works, uh, we take a look at sine of 90 degrees as just an example to verify this works for us. Uh, sine of 90 degrees is the same thing as saying the sine of 2 times 45 degrees. If I take my double angle sine formula and plug it in, I get 2 times sine of 45 times cosine of 45. If I evaluate sine 45 cosine 45, I've got 2 times the square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 2 over 2. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 gives me a 2. 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 in the bottom. Uh, I have 2 times 2 over 4, which is equivalent to 1. We know the sine of 90 degrees is going to be 1, so that makes sense to us. I can also use this to solve some equations. For example, if I have the equation 2 times cosine of an angle plus sine times 2 times sine of 2 times that angle is equal to 0, I can rewrite my sine of 2x term using the formula to sine, I'm sorry, 2 times the sine of x cosine of x equals 0. If I take a look at this, I can see that each term is going to have a cosine and a 2. Let's factor both of those out and see what happens. So I've got 2 cosine of x times 1 plus sine of x equals 0. Okay, if I set both of these equal to 0, so 2 cosine of x equals 0 and 1 plus sine x equals 0. I'm going to find that sine of x equals negative 1, which means that x could equal uh, 3 pi over 2. Or I find that cosine of x is equal to 0, which means that x can equal pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. One of our answers is duplicated, which is OK. I get a solution of x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. It's going to be useful sometimes to rewrite uh, expressions at a lower power. Uh, and we've, We have these power reducing formulas, uh, which are based off several of the identities we've used already. We have one for sine squared, one for cosine squared, one for tangent squared. And if we take a look at how one of these works, uh, we can see how we can apply these to other situations. Here I have sine squared of 30 degrees. I can rewrite that using my sine squared formula. 1 minus cosine of 2 times 30 over 2. 1 minus cosine of 60 over 2. Cosine of 60 is a half, so I get 1 minus a half over 2. A half over 2, which equals 1 over 4. And if we think about that, uh, sine squared of 30 is really sine of 30 times the sine of 30. 
sine of 30 is going to be a half. Half times a half also equals a quarter. Uh, so that makes sense to us. We also have some angles we can use to figure out the sine, cosine, or tangent of half of an angle. And those are all written here. Uh, they tend to follow the form. Sine of an angle divided by 2 equals plus or minus the square root of the quantity of 1 minus cosine of an angle divided by 2. And if you look, because we're taking the square root for both sine and cosine, we have a plus or minus included in the equation. The sine is going to be based on the quadrant of the angle divided by 2. Uh, so if we look at sine of u over 2, if we have something in the first or second quadrant, our result So if we look at the sine of u divided by 2, if we're in the first or second quadrant, uh, this would be a positive answer, which means we're going to use the positive square root of 1 minus cosine of u over 2. Let's look at how we might apply this formula to tangent. And to do that, we're going to look at the tangent of 15 degrees. We know that 15 degrees, uh, which is not something that we know a special right triangle for, is the same thing as 30 degrees divided by 2. So we're going to use this formula uh, to express the tangent of 15 degrees in a more simplified manner. So the tangent of 15 equals the tangent of 30 divided by 2, which is the same thing as saying 1 minus the cosine of 30 divided by the sine of 30. I could also write it as sine of u divided by 1 plus cosine of u. Uh, either one res will result in the same answer. If I evaluate cosine of 30 and sine of 30, I get 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Dividing by a half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. And I've got uh, 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2 all times 2, which I could rewrite as 2 minus the square root of 3. The last set of uh, formulas or identities that I'm going to be using today, uh, or at least showing to you, are the sum to product and product to sum identities. These are uh, really useful in solving equations because they deal with combining the sine or cosine of two angles into a product from a sum or a sum for a product. And some problems that we would not otherwise be able to solve, this gives us an out to solve. Uh, here I've just listed, and I apologize for the messy uh, first formula, but here I've listed the identities for sums and differences to be rewritten as products and for products to be rewritten as sums and differences. In your time studying trigonometry, uh, these are going to be things that it's not likely that you, you'll ever have to actually memorize because you'll always have access to an identity formula sheet that will have these uh, written down for you. In the next video, we're going to go more into depth on how to use these to solve some equations, but I wanted you to have seen them before we do that.